Okay, so whole body cryotherapy is going into a cryo cabin that goes down to minus 130 degrees. And you're in there for three minutes. The reason why you do that is that it triggers the fight or flight response. That gets the brain to send a message to the blood to say, oh my God, it's freezing. So the blood rushes to the core area. Paul's very worried. He's slightly worried to ask, but he's, uh, he's scared that he's going to shit himself. Please don't do that because that'll cause some frostbite in there. If there's a problem, we'll just open the door and get you out. Have you ever taken a shit in there? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's excellent for muscle recovery. So if you're training, it helps get you recovered quicker. It can help you look younger and feel younger as well. Do you change race in there? <laughs> and we're only getting in for three minutes. Correct. Is that a long time? <laughs> <laughs> I hope she comes in there with us, you know that. <laughs> I know. The world's changed, mate. We can't... You can't say that anymore. No. You can, see, we live in a world where you can't, say, <laughs> you can't say you're attracted to women anymore. You can. It's politically <laughs> incorrect to say you like women. It's not. How old are you? I'm old, man. I know. But no one knows. I'm you old. could be 30, you could be 73. <laughs> you're a mystery. I'm an enigma. Even you're I don't know who I am. No. How would you deal with the cold? Just put a jacket on, mate. <laughs> but you, you lot are used to this because we. You should, lot. You know. Why'd you make this tense and about race? Well, we're having a lovely chat now. I know you made it. You made well, it. Because you're the same colour as the robe. <laughs> I'm not. Look at me. I'm orange. Enough of this chat. Let's hit the chamber. Going in. Yeah. Oh, it's really cold, boys. Really cold. Boy. Yes, real cold, man. Okay, I your hands in prayer position there. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Praying, I'm praying now. So I'm you've praying. been in there for 20 seconds. If I get you to take a quarter of a turn now for me. Okay, which way that way? Yep. I feel sorry for it. Oh. I, I mean, it feels it's really having an, an impact on the nipples. It's cold, though. It's cold. It really is. It's cold. It's gone a bit red, isn't it? Oh, I've got some red. You want to stay in or come out? I'm staying in, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> in a minute, you'll take. Uh, sorry, in a few Not seconds. Terrible, ever happened to anyone here, right? No. They... Oh, <laughs> forty-five seconds left. To go. To go. Yep, to go. So, if you want to lift your arms up for me, Russell. Yeah. Yep, do that Ooh. for a little bit as well. Yeah. Just more. Yeah. All fine. Take another quarter of a turn. Yeah. You've got 30, 30 seconds left. That's the home run now. Okay. Oh God, it's so cold. Got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to open the door for you there. Oh, oh it's like stars in your eyes. Oh, there God. Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I feel great now. Shit, man, I should have gone first. Oh, God. Get her in there. I'm not really ready to do this anymore. Lose the robe. Are we ready? Get in the capsule. Are you ready? No. <laughs> See, look at how can he be re He's all relaxed. I mean, I'm just screaming like a dying animal in there. Where is it? Take another quarter of a turn for me, please. It's like he's reading the paper. If he wants to do this, he's going to let him read the book. Do you think you're going to shoot yourself? I might do. And then five, four, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> one. How did the train was really cold? <laughs> I mean, that's insane. And do you not feel like tingly? Yeah, you can kind of your whole body's with all the blood circulating. Yep, around. that's right, yes. It's all been oxygenated and all that. So shall we go through and do the Norman Tech compression therapy now? Yes. What that does, it helps to reduce any muscle swelling and push any lactic acid out of the system as well. Did you show you on purpose? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really necessary? I, I say we make this a regular part of our... Uh... Every Monday morning. Every Monday, I see you down there, we have a big freeze. Yeah, we just freeze each other. Exactly. I'd, I wouldn't mind getting one of them in the house and biting people around. How much do you think one of those things cost? How much does that thing? How much does that cost? Yes. 50 grand will go off someone. We just come here every week and stay there. <laughs> OK, yeah. Well, if it isn't the terribly funny Jimmy Carr. Can't believe your luck. Um, right, <laughs> what are we doing? So, we're going to do some acupuncture and some cupping. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they told me that. They said, they said if you come on today, you're, you can cup 
Russell Howard, and yeah. it's always been a dream of mine to... <laughs> to cut me? To cut you. I love this voodoo bullshit. Do you? Of course I do. The funny thing is I live with a doctor who despises any kind of voodoo. Right. So she doesn't want me having all the pills and potions that I take because she says, and I quote, they're going to destroy your liver. But, but you know, you can get a new liver. I've got is. a friend that bought a liver. Really? Yeah. Genuinely, a friend of mine bought a liver. He, he came to lunch one day and yeah. he said, we, I said, you look yellow. And then it turned out he had liver failure and he went to get a liver transplant and he couldn't get one on the NHS. And in the end, he went to China and he bought a liver off a guy on death row. So you saved his life. He'd be dead. Oh, I don't, I don't know whether I saved his life. I mean, he is dead now, so... <laughs> He's not dead now, is he? Yeah. Fuck, Jim. <laughs> Fuck. He died just before last Christmas. He, uh, so he got the liver transplant and then <laughs> he, he got... They'd done, they did such a bullshit job on the transplant that he died about two years later. Oh, for... John's ready to see you now. Great. Right, let's have it. <laughs> have you ever had acupuncture before? Have you ever had Chinese medicine before? I've had quite a lot of Chinese food, so I feel like... OK, like... it's not quite the same. <laughs> as well as making us live longer, is there anything you can do to make us feel better? If better means bringing more youthfulness into your skin, that definitely we can achieve but with uh, some cosmetic acupuncture. Cosmetic, Co cosmetic, cosmetic acupuncture. acupuncture. And you can really prevent and delay ageing through this process. Well, I why don't... do you go for a bit of that? It's not the first time I've said this. Just put the tip in, see if I like it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> if you please lie down on your back with okay. your head here yep. and your legs there. I thought I'd take my trousers off anyway, just in case yes, anything. Very in good case, idea. The, I don't know if there's. Is there often a happy ending? In. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid there isn't any. Oh. So, Jimmy, I would like to feel your pulse and see your tongue. May I have see a look tongue? of your tongue? Yes. Yeah, Stick sure. it out. That's it. Your tongue is slightly puffy and a bit uh, swollen. So, is, it, is a fat tongue, is that a bad thing then? It's not bad or a good, it's an observational tool that I will use in order to be able to select my points. Should we crank some in his face? So, out of this fat tongue. Because <laughs> it's all I can see now. Oh! Oh! That was something. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ah! Fucking hell! Ow! Like ah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Ow! Now he's... Ow! I mean, let's not muck around, John. He's got a big face. We could probably get a record number in here. Ow! Oh, fuck, you know. Oh, that looked, that looked painful. I mean, that looked like you stabbed him in the face then. It's almost like you're doing a join the dot. Oh! And if you connect them all, you, you can draw Jimmy Carr. Oh! That was it. Oh! I'm looking forward to this. Oh, oh. What happened there, Russ? I was poked for the first time. Oh, God. Whereabouts? Just on my elbow. Oh, sorry, that, that was your reaction to the elbow one? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're in for a treat. <sighs> oh, oh, I <sighs> felt that one. Ah, that was it then. Is that the noise you make when you, uh, <laughs> when you, when you finish things at home? Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> Now, your reaction to that was, um, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't the most macho thing I've ever heard. You were mm. quite... Um... I'm a squealer. You are a squealer, yeah. yeah. It turns out you're a, you're, a, you're a squealer. Yeah. I'd say I'm very relaxed, Jim. I'm very relaxed. I feel very chilled. All right, I've got a lot of metal in my face, but, you know, <laughs> I feel it might just be a phase I'm going through, like a goth. Mm. That's a good point, actually. If putting needles in your face calms you down, why are people who are into heavy metal quite so aggressive? Well, imagine how aggressive they'd be without that shit. That's probably keeping it, keeping it on the down low. And what about Hellraiser? He wanted to kill people. Yeah, but those were nails. I mean, he had big nails in him. Yeah. Just about to start removing those needles. Is it painful when you take them out? No, you don't feel anything. Cool. Ah! <laughs> oh! Uh, how? Ooh. Oh, my God, alive. Have you got one of these masks made out of human flesh? Yeah. He's no longer Jimmy Kai. Looks like a man who's killed a dog with a hammer. Your skin looks smoother and plumper. You haven't plumped his tongue, have you? You won't really get the damn thing in. Russ, I would like you now to experience some cupping. So if we turn around then, uh, and lie on your tummy. Oh, right. Oh, wow. It's like he's doing it 
a flaming Zambuca. On my back. Ow! Then, okay, this is, I mean, oh, oh, this guy's a nutter. And this guy's a bona fide nutter. At the minute, it looks like you've got two really fat nipples on your back. Well, that's what I wanted. Ah! Uh, what was that, Russ? It just popped me off. <laughs> What's this meant to do then, John? It literally um, encourages new blood to come into the muscles. Right. So this is making us younger, is it? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Ooh. That feels nice. Oh. Oh, it's lovely when it comes off, isn't it? Oh ho 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 ho. Oh. Oh yes, please. Well. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I feel relaxed. Yeah, I mean, I feel, I mean, I look 10 years younger, right? You look great. And you had a lot of stuff done. <laughs> like, you had 60 in your face, and I only had, like, 10 on my body. Yeah, but in fairness, they've got neighbours. You would have screamed so loud. I would have done, yeah. What's the next thing? What could we do? We could do a colonic. Colonic? How do you feel about that? Yeah, look, people have been telling me for years that I'm full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon a colonic is just what I need. Welcome, Russell and Roisin. Maya Medicine is basically a indigenous holistic system of healing. It's being able to navigate and help people through possessive, um, neurotic energies. You really looked at Roche when you said neurotic. <laughs> <laughs> Just relax. Ready? Breathe. Good, and breathe into the heart. Come on, nice strong breath. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> um, how come you keep burping? Yeah, I'm digesting. You know, eating your energies. Right, so you're burping out our energy. Yeah, you got to light your own lamp and burp your own burps, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Digest I've your seen own... many self-help books, but yeah. I've never seen that type of burp your own burps. <laughs> I like it. What we're going to do is try and open up some doors. OK. OK. And we're going to use the eggs? Yeah, well, the eggs are a microcosm, and they absorb your energy. And then we take a reading. OK, so, Russell, should we have a look at yours? Wow. Fantastic. Right, so the yoke is the body, right? So it's like someone's basically got a shotgun and just gone and blown holes in you. Right. So if we can flush through the cloud, yeah. then your energy will naturally unite. OK. Can I have a look at Roche's egg? Sure. <laughs> um, Roche is slightly worried that a bird's going to fly out. <laughs> yeah. Pack out her eyes. <laughs> but your energy is like more like a galaxy. It's like the magical dance. Um, but the problem is, you're dancing in a pond, uh, and it's... <laughs> yeah, soft to <laughs> Yeah. Soft to <laughs> Can you see the smoke? It's quite impressive. And your wounds, emotionally, are sitting underneath a big cloud. So if we can shift that cloud today, then it's like those wounds can surface and you can process through them. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. OK. Who knew eggs were so, uh, chatty? <laughs> <laughs> Great, so we can do some body work, a bit of energy work, and try and get your systems a bit more fluid. Visualise that you're breathing in the entire contents of the cosmos into your body. I'm just going to just relax here a little bit. That's it, just flop like a rag doll. <laughs> OK? Yeah. OK, and relax. So your in-breath is like you're going to die, you know? So breathe into the right kidney, yeah, and then breathe out the right foot. Oh, I don't like it when really you touch me there, I don't know why, but... I can really go for a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've prodded something loose in me. <laughs> <laughs> She's off. OK. <laughs> it was way more than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be a spritz. Going to travel I through. I feel like Annabelle Chung. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so are we ready to walk down to the sweat lodge? Yeah. OK. 
God. I but feel like we have to do a Theresa May here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there, Roland? Well, we just make a little salute to the four elements. It smells a bit like weed. Mm. You see? <laughs> when we go into the lodge, it's like opening up the door into the unconscious, irrational world of oneself. If you empty out, you can fill yourselves with something new. Cool. Ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks, mate. Roland, there was no mention of that. It smells like a dead dog in a cabbage factory. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the door down, please. Yes. Just feel yourself melting. Let yourself melt into the earth. Oh, Jesus, you fucking... Oh! It's so hot. OK. I'm, I might have to go. That's fine. Do you, do you want to try lying down first? No. Door open! <laughs> do you fancy a little dip in the river, cool down? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, do that, yeah. Yeah? Go tell. Cool. What are you doing? I had to cool down. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so let the river flow through you, okay? Okay, Ross, come on then. <gasps> no problem. <laughs> it's pretty. <gasps> it's, it's, I'm not putting my head in it. <laughs> okay, are we, uh, yeah, let's get we back cool? In. Yeah. 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 Uh, are we good? It's so hot. Yeah. It feels insane, this. It feels like we're in a survival film. <laughs> you know you forget, don't you? Can we get back in the sweaty? Yeah, man, you ready? Are you mad? Yeah. I prefer the sweaty to Are you out of your mind? You're so brave, Russell. Yeah, I'm not going to go back in. I feel extreme serenity, but I think it's in the same way, you know why people bungee jump? So if they survive, then they feel like, whoa, it's good to be alive. You all right? Oh. I've done the O2. <laughs> Can we just do a little closing ceremony? To all our relations. To all our Thank relations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later, Roland. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Take care, Take care mate. Take care, bye bye. I drink your eggs. Fit my eggs. Fucking in good poached. Shape. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel like very cleansed. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs>